Welcome to 365 Christian Men, where every day we aim to inspire and encourage with real life stories about men. January 24th, Patrick Morley. In 1973, Patrick founded Morley Properties, which for several years was one of Florida's 100 largest privately held companies. At the same time, He was the president or managing partner of 59 other companies and partnerships. In 1986, Patrick started the Man in the Mirror Bible Study, which has grown to include approximately 10,000 men. And Man in the Mirror Ministries has helped 35,000 churches impact the lives of 12 million men worldwide. In the middle of all this work, Patrick came to believe that 90% of Christian men lead lukewarm, stagnant, defeated lives, and they hate it. So he wrote a book for them, Man Alive, which shows men how they can experience a powerful life transformed by Christ. On this date in 2012, Patrick released the audio version of his book, Man Alive. The ministry of Man in the Mirror exists, says Patrick, in answer to the prayers of all those wives, mothers, and grandmothers who have for decades been praying for the men in their lives. Today's story is partly about one of those wives. A man will not find true meaning for his life until he surrenders to God's plan. Patrick Morley did not know he had a problem until the day his wife Patsy, tears flowing down her face, asked him, if there was anything he liked about her. Unable to put what he was feeling into words, he just left the house and went to work. As far as things like success and money went, Pat had it all. But he was as miserable as he had been in high school, and now he was taking it out on his beautiful wife. Her tears made him feel like a selfish fool. The truth was, for years, Pat had been waging a personal battle against significance. Though he did not know how to say it or to tell others, truth was that school, work, and life in general had left him feeling hollow and empty. After Pat quit high school as a senior, his dad sensed the lack of direction in his son's life and pushed him to join the Army. The Army was a perfect fit. It gave Pat a sense of purpose and identity and he thrived in the disciplined atmosphere. He also obtained his GED and later graduated from college and ultimately earned a PhD. But the thrill of being in the Army did not last forever, and soon the gnawing sense of dissatisfaction returned. After his discharge, Morley was back staring at himself in the mirror and wondering, what is the point? Pat had to find something new, a new purpose that could fight off the meaninglessness he felt. And he wouldn't settle for anything that was merely mediocre. It had to be something big. Financial success would solve all his problems, he told himself. So Pat got into the real estate business. He set big goals and he achieved them. In six years, money was piling up faster than he knew how to spend it. He accumulated everything a man of stature could want. A beautiful wife, lovely home, luxury car, tailored suits, and a Rolex watch. But still, he felt empty. Every goal accomplished would only bring a temporary fix, and soon he would need even a grander goal to accomplish. After all this, he was sitting at his fancy desk knowing his beautiful wife Patsy was at their incredible home, and she was wondering if there was even one thing that he liked about her. One Sunday morning, as they were driving home from church, Pat, with all the grace of a charging grizzly, began to lash out at Patsy about something she had done that embarrassed him. Patsy could no longer take it. In her pain, she began to weep and sob. She was broken. In that moment, the Spirit of God touched Pat's heart, and the man who had attacked his wife with the Spirit of a mean grizzly bear broke and began to cry with her. Patrick Morley waved the spiritual white handkerchief of surrender before the Lord. 
he realized he was a man who in the eyes of the world had everything, but was living a meaningless life. Now, he prayed that God would change him and make his life meaningful. And he knew he could not become the man he was created to be and live a meaningful life without Jesus Christ. Since that Sunday morning and Pat's surrender to God and his meaningful plan for his life, God has touched millions of men through Pat's brokenness, obedience, writings, and man in the mirror ministry. In Ecclesiastes 1-2, God's word tells us, meaningless, meaningless, says the teacher, utterly meaningless, everything is meaningless. If you are totally honest with yourself, do you feel you are living an empty and meaningless life? Are you trying to be successful in the eyes of other men and now realize you are not successful in the eyes of God? Are others suffering because of how you are living your life? Are you willing to raise the white flag of surrender which could lead you to the most meaningful life you could ever imagine? A man will not find true meaning for his life until he surrenders to God's plan. Thank you for listening to today's story. Every day of the year, our hope is to inspire you with real life stories of faithful men who have gone before us. Hebrews 12.1 says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily ensnares us. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Join us tomorrow for another story at 365christianmen.com.